Well, I was really happy with the game. I, I thought we I thought we played with a lot of intensity in the second half. Um, we came out of the locker room and really um, played a, a good half court man to man. And uh, I was I was pleased with the offensive execution. Uh, we didn't shoot it particularly well today, but I thought we did a good job rebounding. A um, couple of things I have. First of all, I'll talk about Lindsey Schrader coming back and what, how much fun that was. Yeah, it was great to see her. I mean, when we played the history video before the game and she was in it, and um, just great memories of her as a player here. Uh, so it was great to bring her back. And that was, of course, the main reason that we did play the game, uh, to have her come back. And it was, it was, um, it was, it was great for the team. I think they had a chance to, you know, to spend some time with her. And mm -hmm. always great to bring former players back. But I'm really, really happy that she's in coaching. You know, I don't know how long she'll, she'll continue, if that's going to be her career or not. But uh, she's definitely getting a, a lot of great experience right now. And Deborah Peters going over 1,000 points. Um, talk about that a little bit. I thought the most impressive thing about her game was that she missed her first four shots okay. and then made the next nine. You know, that was a great mental comeback for her. I think it's always difficult when you're around 1,000 points and, right. and because you're thinking about it. You know, every, every, every shot is closer to 1,000. So I, I think it kind of plays on your mind a little bit. Right. So I was really glad she was able to take a deep breath and, and finish it off. And then she did a great job on the boards, too. So right. overall, just an impressive stat line. And Talking about your bench uh, coming into the game, what did you see? You got a chance to play a lot of minutes for them today. What did you see from them that you liked? I was pleased with the bench today. I, I thought they did a nice job taking care of the ball, um, and they they kept up the intensity defensively. I thought that was really important. Um, I think that Whitney Holloway is getting some great minutes, and she's really She's really gonna. She's really gonna help us. I think she's she's still learning a lot of things and she's executing them well. So, just overall pleased with the bench. The post players played well. Um, I thought they played well together and they played well defensively. They have talked about the thousand points. Um, Nicely done. This <laughs> is exciting. I actually didn't know. I had no idea, and it just shows how much my teammates look for me. Because Sky actually yelled my name, which which made me fit, run faster to get the ball. <laughs> so <laughs> they were looking out for me. I had no clue. So I mean, I just have some great teammates that give me the ball. So when you actually scored it, the crowd kind of erupted. Did you? I was confused. I had yeah. no idea what was going on. Um, they got really loud, and they weren't really loud most of the game. So I was I just had no clue what was going on. I was like, why are they so loud? And then after, I think Brittany was trying to tell me, but we were still playing. Yeah. And then the next, during the timeout, they told me. So much for my excuse of why you missed your first four shots. Then. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of conflict there, no bit. <laughs> Skyler, talk about the 10 assists. You got a double-double today. Who made the decision to leave you in for the 10th assist? I saw as soon as you made it. You got pulled. So. Yeah, I think I didn't even realize. Didn't I didn't know. think I had that many in the first, and then when it, me and Coach Coach Smith said two points to assist, so I was just trying to find people. Like, and I was yelling at Kayla Turner to shoot, 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 shoot. And finally, we set up a play where I made the pass on the wing, the entry pass to the post, and right. um, Natalie Chandler made the shot. But I was really just looking. I knew we everybody knew but Dev, right. so it was like she was the only one that didn't know. We didn't want her to be off. But um, yeah. I was screaming for her and like just looking for people. And yeah. Dev got my life, uh, my uh, two in the second half. Right. And the crowd, I mean, this is your second sellout. The crowd shows up on a Wednesday afternoon at 2 o'clock in the <laughs> afternoon against a team that's not a UConn and Full House. Talk about what that means to you guys. Um, that means a lot to us, just having their support. And, uh, for them to just come out, like I said, like you said, on a Wednesday at 2 o'clock. I mean, it's long with it's easy to sell out a crowd against Tennessee and top three teams, uh, top 25 teams, when the team's not top 25, you sell out. That just says a lot about our program, about our, the loyalty of our fans to come out and still support us, uh, no matter what time, no matter what day. Game, you've had a few games like this for either of you two. Uh, when you get a big lead like this, is it difficult to stay focused, stay on what you're trying to accomplish, or, or I mean, are you, are you just out there having fun? Um, I think sometimes we lose focus a little bit, but Coach is quick to catch us on that. <laughs> so we regain it pretty quickly. Um, I think it's hard sometimes. Uh, we don't want to play down there to, to their level, and uh, we really want to play every game like it's UConn and Tennessee. I think we lose a little focus a little bit sometimes, but 
coaching staff does a great job of making great sure job. we ga gain it back. <laughs> and, you guys have, and you guys have held teams to less than 23 points in 12 of the last 15 quarters. Is that is that a point? Of, I mean, obviously, you def, uh, do you guys have set goals, like keep them under 25 each quarter? Or is no. That just we, don't. we just take a lot of pride in our defense. Okay. And we, we look at the total, what they're averaging, and try to keep them 10 points below.